Hey there, welcome or welcome back. As promised, this video is just a continuation of my last one. I'm getting my boys ready for virtual learning and needed to turn our kitchen table into a focused learning space. A friend of mine gave me the idea to use these poster boards from Dollar Tree as dividers. And so I'm calling them virtual learning cubicles. I think it's a really cute and fun idea, especially if you're like me and you have more than one child learning at home. I'll have one going to kindergarten and the other going to the fifth grade. They love the way their cubicles turned out and are super excited about our virtual school year. If you guys want to see how I made these, well then, keep watching. The supplies I used for this project were scissors, glue, double-sided adhesive tape, push pins, binder clips, and adhesive hooks. All of the materials I used on their poster boards came from Dollar Tree. The first cubicle I am making is for my kindergartner. I wanted to first add a border just to make it look more fun. Now I'm just going to use stencil letters to add his name. Once I have the letters positioned the way that I want it to look, I'll use glue to hold it in place. One of the things I know kindergartners learn in school are the days of the week, so I wanted to help him become familiar with that too. My vision was to make it easy for him to know what day it is right in his cubicle. Here I'm just cutting out a fun shape from construction paper, nothing fancy, so I can write out each day of the week.
As you can probably tell, I really tried to stick with the colors of the rainbow to make learning the days of the week even easier for him. I also wanted to have a way to interchange the days, which is why I'm using push pins to attach the days to his cubicle. And every morning before school starts, I plan to swap out each day. For the left side of his cubicle, the only thing going here is a pencil pouch and a hook to hold his headphones. I did try at first to attach the pencil pouch using the double sided tape plus push pins, but the pins only got in the way. So since I pretty much covered his colors and days of the week, the only thing I felt was missing were shapes. I grabbed flashcards from Dollar Tree and here I'm simply cutting them down to size and attaching them to the poster board using that double sided tape. I know I could have added numbers and alphabet letters too, but I do plan to just print out those resources separately and keep it inside his folder for reference when he needs it. So this is how the first cubicle for my kindergartner came out. I love that it's bright and colorful and I really hope it'll help him stay excited about learning. Moving on to the next cubicle I have to create. This one is gonna be for my fifth grader. Again, I'm starting out by adding a fun border.
Instead of writing out the days of the week for him, I just printed out a blank calendar to put inside this report cover I grabbed at Dollar Tree. That way, he can keep track of every day and just mark them off on his calendar. I'm just using binder clips to attach it to the top of his cubicle. Now I needed to add my fifth grader's name to his cubicle, but unfortunately I ran out of stencil letters and I was not running back to Dollar Tree for that. So I just decided to trace over what I had and color them in. I am not crafty at all you guys and I promise I wasn't trying to strive for perfection either. With these cubicles I really just wanted to give my boys something else they can look at for inspiration when they're not staring at their computer screen. Speaking of inspiration, since my fifth grader can read, I thought it would be really cool to include positive notes using the same construction paper from the last cubicle. One of his love languages is definitely words of affirmation, so I know he'll love reading these messages. how my fifth grader cubicle came out. What I love about it is that if you have an older student, this is something you can easily create for them too. So that completes our virtual learning classroom. It's right at my kitchen table, you guys. We don't have a ton of space in our apartment to set up desks, so we're just making the best of what we got. If this video was at all helpful, please give it a big thumbs up as it helps me to create more tidy related content. And be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos and I'll see you in the next one.